Hello everyone, welcome you back in my geography class. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we will discuss on another important topic from the chapter interior of the earth of class 11. In our earlier videos we have already discussed about the topic of volcano. Like what do you mean by volcano? We came to know about the different types of lava and also about the different types of volcano. Now let us start with another important topic that is intrusive forms formed by the volcano. Now what do you mean by volcano? I hope all of you remember that what is a volcano? A volcano is a rupture in the earth crust that allows hot lava, volcanic ashes and gases to escape from the magma chamber below the surface, right? That is called a volcano. So here we are talking about the lava, right? So what happens? The lava is released. How it is released? It is released by the volcanic eruption. We have already learned that when we call the molten material as the magma, we call the molten material as the magma when it is within the earth's crust or we can say below the surface and when we call it lava when it reaches the earth's crust or we can say above the surface now the lava comes out and reaches the surface when volcanic eruption occurs. Now we know that when the lava comes to the surface, when volcanic eruption occurs, the lava comes to the surface. Now the lava that comes to the surface, they get cool on the surface and they turn into rocks that is referred as igneous rocks. Now it's not only that that the lava only cools down while reaching the surface, but the lava when it is within the earth crust that means the magma the magma within the earth crust also get cooled and solidified and form igneous rocks now you may be wondering that the igneous rocks are formed within the earth crust and also they are formed when the lava comes to the surface and there the lava gets cooled down how is it possible both are igneous rocks one is formed within the earth crust and other one is formed reaching the surface that means when the magma is within the earth crust that cools down solidified and it forms igneous rock and that igneous rock is referred as the intrusive igneous rocks and when the lava reaches to the surface it gets cool and solidified and forms extrusive igneous rocks right now let us know what do you mean by igneous rocks and what are intrusive igneous and extrusive igneous rocks i hope all of you remember the structure of the earth's interior the uppermost layer is a crust then we have mantle and then we have coal now we know that in mantle there are two layers in crust also there are two layers and in core also there are two layers let me just show you so this one is the upper layer this one is a lower layer and this one is an upper layer which is also known as the asthenosphere the weak layer right i hope all of you remember so what happens the molten material from the mantle they tries to reach the earth's surface from where from the weak layer that is the upper mantle that is asthenosphere so when they tries to reach the earth's crust the magma get cools down within the earth crust. Some of the magma reaches the earth's surface as lava and most of them get cooled and solidified within the earth crust. And these are referred as intrusive and these are referred as extrusive. That means the magma which cooled down and solidified within 
the earth's crust and extrusive the lava that reaches the surface and there it cools down and it solidifies to form extrusive which rocks igneous intrusive igneous and extrusive so anything which is formed within the earth crust that is intrusive and the one which has formed outside it is called extrusive now let us know the definition of igneous rocks first now what do you mean by igneous rocks then igneous rocks now this are derived from the greek word fire so what do you mean by igneous rock it means the rocks that are formed due to cooling and solidification of the magma or lava it is called igneous rocks so igneous rocks has been derived from a greek word fire that means the rocks that are formed due to cooling and solidification of the magma or lava now igneous rocks are divided into two intrusive and extrusive now let us know what do you mean by intrusive and what do you mean by extrusive igneous rocks are divided into two types of rocks intrusive igneous and extrusive igneous so intrusive igneous are the one which has formed within the earth crust due to cooling and solidification of the magma within the earth crust and extrusive means when the lava reaches the surface here in intrusive igneous rocks we will see that the magma it cools down slowly that is why this type of rocks are coarse grained with large crystals and extrusive igneous rocks it cools down very fast so they are fine grained that means they have small crystals now the intrusive igneous rocks are also called the plutonic rocks and extrusive igneous rocks are called the volcanic rocks now we will see that the magma that cools within the earth crust they take different shapes and we call them as the intrusive forms now let us know about the intrusive forms that are formed by the cooling down of the magma within the earth crust now we have already learned this in our earlier videos that the hot magma get released from the magma chamber and it tends to move upward it tends to reach to the surface how through the cracks in the country rocks now the question that arises what do you mean by country rocks so what do you mean by country rocks what are country rocks country rocks are the rocks that were present before it was intruded by the magma that means we can say the native rock how they lie they lies in strata or layers mostly the country rocks are the sedimentary rocks as we know that sedimentary rocks have strata or layer so mostly the country rocks are the sedimentary rocks now we also should know about the bedding plain now what do you mean by the bedding plain the bedding plain is a surface 
that separates layers of stratified rocks from its preceding layer. That means the surface that separates layers of stratified rocks from its preceding layer. Now, as you can see in this diagram, what are this? These are all strata, right? So, what do you mean by bedding plane? The bedding plane means the surface that separates layers of stratified rocks from its preceding layer. That is referred as the bedding plane. Now, let us know that why do the magma tends to move upward? Why? Because a hot magma is less dense than its surrounding rocks that means the country rocks so it has a tendency to creep upwards towards the surface now how it will do it it can do it in different ways other ways number one it can fill up or it can widen that means filling and widening the cracks there are cracks across the bedding planes of the country rocks now what will happen they will try to fill up the cavities or the cracks or will widen the cracks number two by melting the rocks the surrounding rocks number three pushing the rock aside and this is only possible when the rock is hot enough and there is enough pressure that without breaking the rock can be deformed that means we can say that folds can be formed and we know that this one is the anticline and this portion is the syncline. So it push the rock aside and number four by breaking the rock. Now what happens when the hot magma it tries to reach to the surface of the earth through the country rocks across the bedding plane of the country rocks the magma get deposited and after deposition it cools down solidify and take different shapes which are known as intrusive forms so the resulting body of rocks that will form they are the plutons or we can say the plutonic rocks and they can have different shape their relationship with the surrounding rocks may vary that means with the country rocks and also they can have separate characteristics and so they got different names so we call them by different names so what happens when the hot magma tries to reach us to the surface through the cracks or between the layers of the country rocks across the bedding plane, the magma gets deposited and cools down and it takes different shapes that is referred as the intrusive forms. Now let us know about the intrusive forms that are formed. Now let us know about the different intrusive forms. Now, as I told you that the magma tries to reach us to the surface and within the earth's crust, they get solidified, cooled and take different intrusive forms. Now, what happens? There are several cracks. Cracks mean several joints or fractures that provide a weak plane. So, the magma tries to reach the surface through this crack. That means the faults or joints which provides a weak plane. Now, let us know the first intrusive form that is dike. Now what is a dike? When a molten magma flows upwards 
through the near vertical cracks or fissures they cools down and get solidified perpendicular to the ground they are referred as duct as you can see in this diagram this is a duct so what happens that when the molten magma flows upward through the near vertical cracks or fissures that can be also said as the fractures or joints they get deposited they cool down or we can say they get solidified perpendicular to the ground and form the vertical rocks you can see this is a wall like structure so we can also call them these are the wall like structure so what are dikes we can say that dikes are the vertical rocks that are formed between the layers of older rocks that means the country rocks so as they have formed between the layers of the older rocks that means the country rocks so these are the vertical rocks that are referred as dikes and they are wall like structure and they are considered as the feeders for eruptions that led in the development of deccan trap and another example is cleveland dike of yorkshire england now let us know the next intrusive landform now let us know about the next intrusive form that are seals so what are seals seals are tabular sheets of intrusion intruded between the older layers of country rocks or the sedimentary rocks as i said that mostly the country rocks are the sedimentary rocks they are referred as the seals so you can see here so this are the seals can you see that it looks like a horizontal body so we can say that seals are near horizontal bodies of intrusive igneous rocks now the thicker deposits are called the seals and the thinner deposits are called the sheets so the thicker deposits are called seal and the thinner deposits are called sheets so what are seals seals are tabular sheets of intrusion intruded between the older layer of country rocks or the sedimentary rocks and these are near horizontal bodies of intrusive igneous rocks what will be the example example will be great win seal of north east england so all these intrusive forms are exposed why they are exposed how they are exposed you may be thinking they are formed within the earth crust and how they are exposed they are exposed because it took a years to become harder it became harder than its surrounding rocks and what happened due to the denudation due to the erosion the weathering we can see that these rocks are exposed so example of seal will be the great wind seal of north east england 
Now let us know about the next intrusive form. Now let us know about the lacolith. The lapolith and the pacolith. First, let us know what are lacoliths. Here you can see this is the representation of a lacolith. Just it has a shape like of mushroom. It is a large dome shaped intrusive body. And it got a label base and this is a pipe conduit. So it is connected to a pipe conduit. So what is lacolith? Large dome shaped intrusive body with a level base and Connected by a pipe conduit from below. The localized source of lava finds its way to the surface. Just have a look, this resembles. The surface volcanic domes of composite cone. What will be the example where we can see this in the Henry Mountains? Utah, USA and also in the Karnataka Plateau. Now, let us know about the lapolith. Now, let us know lapolith. Now, as we know that the lava moves upward to the surface in a horizontal direction. So, as it moves upward to the surface in a horizontal direction, wherever it finds a weak plane, it develops into a saucer shape, concave to the sky body intrusive igneous rocks that are referred as the lapolith. Example will be the bush belt lapolith in Transvaal South Africa. Now let us know about the pacolits. What are now in the folded igneous rocks? Sometimes we can find wavy mass of intrusive rocks where at the base of the syncline or at the top of the anticline they are referred as pacoli. You can see here this is the diagram of pacoli. So this is a wavy mass of intrusive rock that are formed as you can see that at the top of the anticline and at the base of the syncline. Now, these wavy materials have a definite conduit to source beneath in the form of magma chambers and these are subsequently developed as the batholith. Now, let us know what do you mean by a batholith. Now, let us know about the batholith. Now, when the magma gets released from the magma chamber, the magma gets cooled down in the form of large dome that is referred as batholith. So this one is a batholith. Now in the, from the batholith, the heat that is released, this metamorphose the country rocks and they get converted into the metamorphic rocks. So what are batholiths? They are large magmatic materials 
cooled in the deeper depth within the crust in the form of large domes they are a cooled portion of magma chamber and they are granitic bodies now when the batho lakes appear on the surface the batho lakes appear on the surface only after the denudation process they have removed the overlying materials then the batho lakes get exposed and they appear on the surface now what will be the example of batho lake we can see the batho lake in the wicklow mountains of ireland and in the uplands of brittany france so what we have learned in today's video we have learned about the igneous rocks we have learned about the intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks we have learned about the intrusive forms like the batholith the lacolith the lapolith pacolith seal and dike i hope all of you understood what has been discussed in today's video now what you will do you will read your books and you will also follow the pdf which has been provided in the description box for your better understanding of the chapter if you have any problem or any suggestion do comment in the comment box given below if you like my video do share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my upcoming videos with this we came to the end of this chapter stay tuned i will be back soon with a new topic and a new chapter till then take care and stay safe thank you mm -hmm.